Hello everybody, this is Drake Gamer back for the spooky showdown, round 6. This could be a pivotal round, we're past the halfway mark of the round robin. Coming up in our main event, we will see a big clash at the bottom between Gastonia and Euraptor. But at first, we are going to see T-Rex taking on Lanzusaurus. The winner of that match will go to top, well for the time being, provided that Sorofagnax doesn't win. Speaking of Sorofagnax, they will take on Diceratops in our third matchup. We also have Irritator taking on Sejuangosaurus, a clash of the uh, weaker dinosaurs in this. And then, before our main event, we have a big clash between Eocarcaria and Black T-Rex. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our first matchup. Okie dokie, in the red corner. He is red, he is the king, He's a T-Rex! Bum 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 ba -da bum bum T-Rex, the first dino to defeat Soros Baganax in this tournament, and putting an end to his winning start, and a win here for our Tyrant King will put him top. But in the blue corner, we've got our life sapping machine, he's Lanzusaurus. Lanzusaurus also enjoying a fine tournament, after that poor start against Irritator, could Lanzusaurus be a dark horse in this? A win would also take them top. So plenty to play for you. Ooh, is T-Rex getting the first hit on the board? That's a firebomb. Firebomb! That's a strong start from the T-Rex. Although, not much damage dealt there, but this T-Rex is hunter type, so it will get it will do more damage now because it has more health than the Lanzusaurus. But we all know with Lanzusaurus, that can change very quickly. Ooh, don't wanna get hit by a crit. Really don't wanna get hit by a crit. Oh, they get hit by a crit! <laughs> I think I jinxed him. Oh no, poor Lanzusaurus gonna get blown away but with a mouthful of fire and that is another quick victory for the T-Rex and that for the time being will put him top of the group good start there for T-Rex Lanzusaurus licking his wounds a bit there on to our second match alrighty then in the red corner you might be mad after facing this dino you might be irritated Cause it's Irritator! Irritator has enjoyed a really good tournament so far and victory here will take him top. Well, for the time being, until the Sorrow Fagonax plays. In the blue corner, it's our little purple pesky predator. It's Sejuanosaurus. And Sejuanosaurus, four straight defeats after that shock win against Eocarcaria. This is it for them. This is win or bust. I do feel if the Sejuangosaurus loses this match, and the Diceratops in particular wins, I think that'll be it for Sejuangosaurus. There'll be nine adrift of the top four with three to play. So this is a massive contest for the Sejuangosaurus. They have to win this game match. And that's a decent start. As for Irritator, well, they actually have a really good chance to top the to finish top. Purely based on the fact that most of their map point matches are against the fire dinosaurs. But they do have to play Diceratops. And that's their very last game, I believe. And this is a very good start from Sejuangosaurus. Getting on the front foot early. And look at this! The purple predator! Plenty of life in any run! He freaking killed it! The Irritator! Irritated after that result. They didn't even get a hit. And that keeps Sejuangosaurus' hopes for a top four alive. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? On to our next contest. Alright, you there. In the red corner. If you see this orange beast, prepare to die. Because it's Diceratops. And Diceratops has, really, has had a really good tournament so far. A win here will put them at least second. By virtue of the fact that they'll have more battle points than the Sorofagonax. In the blue corner, it's the lizard eating specialist, the cowboy itself, he's Sorofagonax. 
Sorrow back and suffering its first defeat of the tournament against the T-Rex during our main event last time out. We'll be looking to get back to winning ways here. And a win will mean they go back top above the T-Rex again. But defeat here and they'll drop to third. How quickly things can change. And if Diceratops gets a big enough win and gets enough points, they could go top. But uh, I don't see that happening. They'll have to get like an 8 or a 900, I think. Ooh, Sorrow Fagonax getting the first hit on the board. Interesting. Now, the one thing about this Sorrow Fagonax, it has been a slow starter in most of his matches. So getting the first hit there, very unusual. And this is a very good start from Fagonax. Diceratops yet to get a hit on the board. And based on that, I feel like Diceratops will not be able to get enough points to go top. Should it come back? But it's not coming back! And that's a dominant display from the Sorrow Fagonax. Talk about bouncing back in style. And Diceratops dies. Well, that's one way. That's the best possible way to respond to your, losing your first match. Right, on to our fourth match. Okie dokie. In the red corner. We got, we got the Dawn Shark from Africa. It's Eocarcaria. Eocarcaria currently sitting on six points. A win here will definitely put them back in the mix of that top four. But if they get defeated, they could find themselves cut adrift. In the blue corner, it's the big bad bully. He's fiery. It's Black T-Rex. A win for Black T-Rex here will put them third, I believe. Yes, it will put them above Irritator and Diceratops, but it won't, but they probably, well, they won't get enough points to go above the T-Rex, because the T-Rex has about almost 2,000 more points now than Black T-Rex. And I'm sure you can only get like 900 points maximum from one of these matches. So yeah, we're going for quite the contest here. And as I said in the intro, this was almost the main event. This, this was almost the main event of the video. Maybe it should have been. I mean, it is a blockbuster. You got Goma against Seth, Eocarcaria versus Black T Rex, two of the strongest fire dinosaurs to ever exist in the Dinosaur King franchise. But it's Black T Rex on, on the up here, getting that crit, leaving Eocarcaria on a tiny sliver of health. Oh, that'll do it! Black T Rex is overwhelming power, too much for Eocarcaria to handle. And that's lights out for the Dawn Shark. And Black T-Rex goes up the third. The tournament favourite starting to get going here. And that is a, and that is not good for the other dinos in this competition. Especially the ones that haven't played Black T-Rex yet. Now then, on to our main event. A massive game at the bottom between Gastonia and Eorap. Okie dokie, in the red corner. This dino is full of bees. He's full of sprouts. He's full of wind. It's Gastonia. And Gastonia, well, it's um, still has a uh, outside chance of a top four, but they do need to win. This is must win for both of these guys. In the blue corner. From the dawn of the dinosaurs. It's Eoraptor. And he's a steg, so he's got fear up there, trying to fight fire with fire here, going with an earth tap. That means it will have sand trap. Now, I feel like this is not a great matchup for Gastonia, because Gastonia is a tie specialist, but so is Eoraptor. And Eoraptor has almost double the technique. So the odds of Gastonia getting a sand trap off are very minuscule when compared to the Eoraptor. Of course, all this tie stuff could be negated if we don't get any ties. Your after gets the first hit. That's an earthquake. I'm gonna shake things up here. Your after's only win in this tournament came against Irritator in the third round. Needs to get another win on the board ASAP to reignite their top four hopes. Although, even if they do win, it'll still be a long shot. I will point that out. 
won't be a case of, oh, they'll be right back in the mix. Because they, <laughs> they won't. They'll still be underdogs, but at least they'll have a chance. But Gastonia not looking good. This is a strong start from your Raptor. A tie will trigger Sand Trap. Yep, yeah, here it comes. Oh, whoa! Gastonia getting the Sand Trap. And you're up to chance missed. It does have sand trap, right? I wasn't I wasn't dumb and it didn't and it doesn't have sand trap, right? Could that be a turning point? Yes, it does have sand trap. Wow! Despite having far inferior technique, the Gastonia manages to land a sand trap. We got a number one! What's happening? Gastonia is not going down without a fight. Is it random? Hmm. I never understood how it worked, but look at this all of a sudden. And now a tie will actually do it. The odds are in Gastonia's favour. Oh, but he the steady or after gets there. Eoraptor gets the crucial hit to get the points, but Eoraptor keeps their top four hopes alive, only just. And that will conclude this round, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll have a look at the table, see where everyone is, and then we'll end the session. Well, there is our table, ladies and gentlemen. So Fagnac still leading the way with 15 points. Then we have T-Rex in second place by virtue of the fact that they have more points than the Black T-Rex, who currently sits in third. Irritator drops down to fourth. Diceratops drops out of the top four altogether. Lanzusaurus sixth. Sejuangosaurus climbing up to seventh with that crucial victory against the Irritator. Four points separate them now and only six adrift of the two T-Rexes. And Eoraptor getting a massive win against Gastonia in our main event. And Eocarcaria suffering defeat dropping to ninth. And Gastonia rooted to the bottom and... Six points adrift with three to play. I think that's probably going to be it for Gaston. We're getting into the running now. Three rounds to go before we move on to the finale. But right, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Ring the bell so you don't miss out on future tournament content. And until next time, ta-ta. <laughs>